And we welcome you back to Tampa, Florida, where we are just about ready for kickoff here tonight. It is Tampa Bay Sun and Lexington meeting for the second time this season. And this will be a fun matchup tonight as we take a look at the starting 11 for Tampa Bay. Three changes from the first meeting this year, including the change to goalkeeper Lauren Kozel gets the start yet again for this group. In September, they can score, and Madison Perez, one of the defenders, leads the league in assists. Tampa Bay decked out in the Navy kits. It's the white and green for Lexington here tonight. The whistle blows, and we're underway here on a Saturday. It's the USL Super League. And it's great to have you with us tonight. Excellent maneuver here. The pass is handled well. Parsons arcs this and Kozel dives and swallows it up. Tim Rack charges to the right. Nacello lofts this ball. It bounces twice, it comes empty. And the swinging shot from Edmonds falls into the hands of Cox. Goes to the middle of the field. Ultimately is cut off by Sidney Shepard. Sello got a bit of tunnel vision there, just couldn't get the ball off of her foot. But once again, Stotty wide open on that right side. She was making a streaking run off the back post here, had to get back to recover. So interesting as well when you're going through it and you just see the journey that some of these players have had. Turkey, Israel, some of the top programs in Scotland, England, so much variety. Parsons gets ahead to it and whips it wide by Shepard. Cleared to midfield, and there is your first half whistle. Scoreless at the break, and Haley, two sides that want to climb up the charts, but neither side has really been able to get a stranglehold of the attack. Chasing after this, Flo Nielsen slams the brakes on. Flo Nielsen shoots, and it's saved by Cox. The second chance. Cecile Flo Nilsson shreds the strings and Tampa Bay lead for the first time this season at home. Eyes her choices. Boomerangs this ball into the middle of the six. Second phase. Amanda Allen cannot get it through. Second chance. Allen shot slices wide. We've talked about how the road games can be grueling for any team in this conference when you're going coast to coast. Here's Moyer hitting it first time. It hits the crossbar and Kozel catches it. From defense to offense here, it's a brilliant run behind that high sitting Tampa Bay line. She's able to catch them off guard. I wish that ball dropped a little bit because it's a great finish with Hendricks trailing on her back there. And Kozel even had to get back make things difficult for the keeper in there. Cause some chaos inside that six yard box. Perez brings it back. Winter tries to find space. Gives it right back for Perez. Lines it up, hoists this ball in, just off the top of one head. Parsons clips it all the way across. Shepard shot, beats Kozel. It hits the net. Lexington have tied it up at one on Shepard's fourth goal of the season. One of the notes we got in our coaches meeting from head coach Mike Dickey was about Sydney Shepard. He said she's disciplined, she follows directions, and she is lethal on set pieces. You see all of those qualities on full display here. I like Maddie Parsons hesitating on the shot there. It creates just a little bit of a slow reaction from the Tampa Bay back line. And once again, that back post for either of these teams has been wide open all game. Shepard able to take the first touch, sorting to kick in. Parsons just didn't have that same acceleration that we saw out of her from the beginning of this game. Allen darts past the defender. Amanda Allen launches from range and hits the crossbar. Second time. Listro lines it up, pivots around. Hustles after this with Allen, her former Orlando Pride teammate. Able to get this one through. Clark gets a piece. Clark curls it around. Perez heads it back to where it came from. Nacello tips this into the air. Stouty all the way across. There's space here. The shot is hooked to the back corner. Cecile Flo Nielsen has put Tampa Bay out in front for the second time in the match. 2-1, Tampa Bay lead. In a moment where you need a moment, you go 
to your big players. And that's exactly what Cecile Flo Nielsen just showed you right there. This has been building over the course of the last couple of minutes. They've been withstanding the attack of Lexington on the other side. That ball catches her on her back foot, but no one's marking her. So she has time and space in a year where you just haven't been able to find your identity. A goal would go far. And this ball right in front. Almendaris gets to it first. Anna Richardson launches another ball back in. Shielding. Clark clears the area. And now a foot race. Flint darts past the defender. Flint 2v1. Flint decides to shoot from distance and clinches a victory. Natasha Flint's first goal in the Super League is a missile from long range, and it clinches the first home win for the Tampa Bay Sun. My goodness, welcome to the game. What I love about this play, as we'll see it develop here, is that Natasha Flint, this is a goal that came from defense to offense, the individual skill on full display as she holds off a defender, a little touch inside to get her into the middle of the field. She could make any decision she wanted to at that point. You even see her at one point, she's pointing to Cecile Flo Nielsen, telling her of 2024, being able to find the positives when things have not always gone your way, it's going to be an important lesson as this season ticks on for Lexington SC. The full-time whistle sounds, and Tampa Bay score thrice in the second half.